Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. The topic for this program is the economic stimulus for America, or as I like to say, buy, 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 buy for Barack. But we're not just buying for Barack, we are buying for our own United States of America. We need to stimulate our economy. Remember, the New World Order wants our economy to fail. They want to harm the dollar. They want to take away everything that you have worked hard for. Don't listen to the false prophets on talk radio. They give you a partisan message. They are not giving you a patriotic message. We need to support President Obama. He is legitimate authority. Remember what Jeremiah told the Israelites. Even if life is difficult under President Obama, he is appointed by God himself. Just like Nebuchadnezzar was for the Israelites, he is a servant of God. The bad news is, as I have been saying all along, is that Barack Obama is found in Bible prophecy. He is the leopard in Daniel chapter 7, and he is the last king of the south in Daniel chapter 11. He will provoke World War III with the premier of Russia. So what does this have to do with our economic stimulus? Because if the economy goes south, if Barack Obama's approval numbers get down into the single digits or down into 20-point range, the Democrats will get desperate, and they will see that World War III is the only solution to America's problems. Therefore, we need to build up the economy. We need to go out and buy, buy, buy for Barack. But what do we need to buy for ourselves as well as for our country? Here are some of my personal recommendations. Once the new world order takes over and your money is worthless, you will need to procure food for yourselves and your family. If you have a large supply of power tools or farm equipment, that would be good for bartering. And you will need the farm equipment to grow your own food. I suggest that you buy rototillers or log splitters. For example, the last two winters, and I live up in the cold Adirondack Mountains of upstate New York, I have heated my home with wood. I have cut all the wood myself. I recommend that you buy chainsaws. I have two myself. Not only is wood economical, but you would certainly need it for an emergency. In fact, another idea would be for you to buy a lot out in the country, a wood lot where you could cut your own wood. And it would double as a place for you to go to in case you had to flee the city, where you could set up a tent or maybe a mobile home. You might even consider buying a large piece of equipment, like a, a backhoe or a payloader. Remember, your skills will be valuable in the tribulation. They also can be bartered for food. Now, why do I think that Barack Obama may start World War III and precipitate this crisis? After all, he campaigned as a peace candidate. But I noticed one of his first acts was to send rockets into Pakistan. And he is increasing troops in Afghanistan. And I have yet to see a timetable for withdrawal of troops from Iraq. Where are the Democrats who harangued George Bush continually to set up a timetable for withdrawal of troops. Suddenly, they are all very quiet. Just because a candidate cries, peace, peace, doesn't mean we won't get war. According to Bible prophecy, Barack Obama will start World War III. And as I said, we need to stimulate the economy so as not to provide an excuse for Barack and the Democrats to start another war. In conclusion, stimulating the economy will be good for Barack Obama, but it will also be good for America 
and for yourself. Even the government's own website says that you should store food and water. And as I always say, remember God prophesies the future to us, not to scare us, but to prepare us. And if you would like more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.